Welcome to the Saul's Newsstand, News Rewind for October 15, 2021. An op-ed by National Review asks the question, Why aren't Americans protesting in the streets? Here's a question for any American who is capable of thinking past next week. Why in the world are you not out in the streets protesting peacefully against what the Democrats in Washington are trying to do to the federal budget? No one seems to care that the Democrats are walking us into a fiscal catastrophe. Why aren't you calling for town halls? Why aren't you forming committees? Why aren't you calling Congress and demanding that it stop? Judging by its current behavior, the federal government has decided to completely give up on reality. But have you? What the Democrats are trying right now would be nothing short of a catastrophe. The president's approval rating is around 43% and dropping. His party holds a 50-50 Senate. It has a cushion of just three seats in the House of Representatives. And it enjoys no obvious mandate. Where is the intervention? Where are the level-headed types who can see more than a week into the future? Where are the people who, unlike our government, remain capable of elementary arithmetic? To read the accounts of the current infighting among congressional Democrats is to suspect that many within the party know deep down that the plan they are being asked to support is preposterous in the extreme. Where are the people helping them to see sense? Have they all just given up? The New York Post reports, Inflation comes in hotter than expected as prices spike 5.4%. Inflation continued to surge in September, with prices rising more than expected as companies grapple with the snarled supply chain and a nationwide labor shortage, the Fed said on Wednesday. The Labor Department's Consumer Price Index, which measures a basket of goods and services, as well as energy and food costs, jumped 5.4% in September from a year earlier. That's up from August's 5.3% year-over-year rise in prices and matches the 5.4% increase seen in June and July, the biggest 12-month rise since August of 2008. The core consumer price index, which excludes volatile food and energy costs, rose 4% from over a year ago, matching the 4% year-over-year jump that the index saw in August. That measure of inflation has eased since it spiked 4.5% in June, marking the fastest acceleration of prices it tracks since 1991. Gasoline climbed another 1.2% in September from August. Costs at the pump are now up more than 42% compared with a year ago, and prices in grocery stores are now up 4.5% compared with a year ago. And finally, Fox Business reports, Social Security payments to jump most in 39 years as inflation surges. Millions of retirees and other Americans receiving Social Security benefits in 2022 are set to receive the biggest payment increase in four decades, following a pandemic-driven inflation spike. The Social Security Administration said on Wednesday that next year's cost of living adjustment, or COLA, will be 5.9%. That amounts to a monthly increase of $92 for the average retired individual, bringing the amount to $1,657, the administration said. A typical couple's benefits would climb by $154 to $2,754 per month. The adjustment will affect about 70 million people, including Social Security recipients, disabled veterans, and federal retirees. About half of seniors live in households where Social Security benefits provide at least half of their income, while roughly 25% rely on the monthly payment for nearly all of their earnings. And that concludes your Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for October 15, 2021. For more political news faster, visit saulsnews.com.